you may accuse me of being unduly mathematical. I'm not trying to be unduly you, mathematical. I, I want to I want to be wowed by your numbers. No, no, it's, it has nothing to do with numbers. But I asked you yesterday if there was any task force work. Obviously, there was a meeting yesterday on this subject mm -hmm. post Newtown. So, if it's possible to convey to the nation after that meeting and in the intervening days since, proportionally, does the president view this as mostly a gun control issue or 50-50 gun control, mental health, personal responsibility, and can, he, can you give the nation a sense that whatever he proposes, whenever he proposes it, will be inclusive of all of those things? Well, uh, the, okay, I, I, I think that's a good question and I appreciate it. The, the, the president believes that there are multiple elements that need to be addressed that, that are, are part of the problem of gun violence. And uh, as any expert on this subject, I think, would tell you, gun laws uh, would not alone uh, solve this problem, and, and he recognizes that. Uh, he would, however, support and has supported uh, some uh, gun control legislation, like the assault weapons ban, like uh, closure of the gun show loophole. Uh, how the, you know what the proportion is, it's hard to say, but I think uh, you know you, you break it down to uh, issues of law enforcement, issues of, uh, and then law enforcement can mean not just gun legislation, but but other issues of law enforcement, obviously, then uh, like background checks and the like. Then there's. Uh, uh, mental health and, he and broader health care issues. There's an education issues. Uh, you know, I think those are those are uh, three pockets. I, whether that's 33, 33, 33 is hard to say, but uh, it, it's it, it is simply a fact that legislation that addresses access to certain types of weapons or magazines or how we perform background checks, uh, while uh, they have merit and the president supports the ones that I've mentioned, would not alone address this problem. What I can't tell you to go to the second part of your question is, you know, what the rollout of the president's ideas, uh, what form that will take, whether, uh, you know, it will be uh, things uh, of legis pieces of legislation that, that exist that he supports and he, he you know, he, he has made that clear, I have also, uh, or other things that might come up that he supports. I think at some point you'll hear from him more broadly on this issue, uh, but I don't have a time frame for you on that. Uh, so, you know, this is a process that has just begun. Uh, and, uh, you know, includes the meeting he had yesterday. Uh, but beyond that, I just don't have more for you. All right. Uh, more mathematics. <laughs> um, based on briefings here and reaction from the Hill, there are some differences, but the revenue differences, which heretofore have been a significant impediment, mm -hmm. are down to $1.2 trillion versus $1 trillion. And there are a lot of other issues. I acknowledge that. My question to you is, does this building, does the president believe there is an intrinsic larger value to resolving this during this week as the country mourns a larger national tragedy and providing some evidence that all the rhetoric about the future of the children and everything else has actual meaning as related to our fiscal future? I, I hesitate to make grand pronouncements about the connection that some of you have uh, made between what happened in Connecticut and, and other work that is taking place here. I do think that but the president... But you know and I know no, I understand here it. that it, it, it reverberates. It, it certainly does. And I think that it, it at, its, at its core, tragedies like that, at their core, uh, bring us as Americans together in our grief and in our resolve and, and in our neighborliness. Uh, they remind us of all that we share as opposed to the differences that we have. And uh, out of the ashes of a tragedy like that, as the President, I think, <coughs> spoke to in Newtown, we should take heart from that, we, from the uh, the, the, the spirit of the community there, the spirit of communities that have been affected elsewhere. When first responders rush into a situation like that to try to save lives, nobody is thinking about political differences. Um, so I think that any, any reminder of what binds us together is, is helpful and useful 
uh, has it in the, in, in, this as we process? as we try to do the country's business here. Would you I, I think the president catalyze the process. Well, I, I just don't know because I can't speak to everyone's motivations. I think that. Uh, for the president, has it catalyzed this process? Well, he has he has been committed to this process for a long time. He has been committed to seeking uh, a broad deficit reduction deal, uh, one that protects the middle class, one that achieves balance uh, and is good for our economy. Uh, it is certainly, I think, a, a, the events in Connecticut are a reminder to him, as he spoke uh, about uh, in Newtown, of uh, you know what's most important in our lives, uh, what our greatest responsibilities are. Uh, and if, to the extent that that is uh, a motivation to do uh, uh, more and do better uh, for all of us, I think, then that's uh, worth recognizing.